Tunnel Rats, The Vietnam War The communist forces began digging tunnel networks in South Vietnam in the late 1940s during the first Indochina War against French colonial rule. By the Vietnam War in the 1960s, the tunnels had evolved into a complex system with hospitals, storage, kitchens, and headquarters. The NVA and Viet Cong went underground into the Cu Chi tunnels when the U.S. forces bombed the area. As well as providing shelter, these tunnels helped the NVA and Viet Cong launch sneak attacks and ambushes, as well as lay booby traps close to enemy positions. To clear out these dangerous tunnels, brave infantrymen from Australia, New Zealand, South Vietnam, and the United States volunteered for this unenviable job. They would gain the nickname Tunnel Rats. The soldiers chosen were usually short, at 5 foot 6 and under, as they could fit in the claustrophobic conditions. Initially dogs had been used, however, this did not work as they could not detect booby traps. Grenades or tear gas could also be used to flush out the tunnels, however this could alert the enemy or destroy intelligence. The tunnel rat would be lowered down, head first by his fellow soldiers, and have to stealthily move around in the darkness navigating the dark tunnels armed only with an M1911A1 pistol, a flashlight, and a knife. He would listen for any enemy movements followed by a second man who would radio to the surface to map the tunnels. The M1911A1 pistol and its large 45 caliber round caused a blinding muzzle flash and a noise in the confined space, which could temporarily cause deafness, so tunnel rats would improvise their own suppressors or use a civilian revolver sent from home. As part of these search-and-destroy missions, the tunnel rats would search for enemy intelligence and place C4 charges on weak points so the tunnel could be later destroyed. Inside, they could encounter booby traps, such as punji sticks or released snakes and scorpions, before they even found any enemies. Poison gas was also found in these tunnels, but tunnel rats often risked not wearing a gas mask as they restricted vision, hearing, and breathing. If they encountered the NVA or Viet Cong, the tunnel rats were instructed not to fire five to six shots in a row as it would tell the enemy that they were about to reload. Overall, the job of the tunnel rat was stressful and terrifying and could see a man's nerves break in what was one of the most dangerous jobs of the war. Subscribe for more Vietnam War history videos. Get Simple History The Vietnam War and Simple History The Cold War today. Thank you guys for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy it, please consider visiting our Patreon page. There, you can show us your support for the channel by donating and make a huge difference in what we're able to create for you. Plus, you can get early access on upcoming videos. So let's keep it growing, and thank you for being part of this amazing community.